Ezekiel 7 and 10. Behold, the day, behold, it is come, the morning is gone forth, the rod has blossomed, pride has budded, violence risen up into a rod of wickedness, none of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs, neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. So witchcraft's not going to help you. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goes to the battle, for my wrath is upon the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves, the mountain of Zion, of the valleys, all of them mourning every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also grid themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all heads. They shall cast their silvers in the, silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowls, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. Now, it is catastrophic. You have nothing in your life to measure this by. You were not yet born when the flu plague of the early 1900s was in full force. I think he's talking about the Spanish flu in 1918. No, Nor for he's China talking about the Black, the Black Plague. plague. Things are that happened in the Middle Ages. Of scope of reality. It is much more serious than what is being reported. It will cause an economic disaster as well. People have no idea how very serious it is or the measures that are being taken to quarantine those with symptoms. The Chinese are brutal with those who are sick. I want my people to begin living for me. I want them to understand that life is not about improving lifestyle, getting everything you want, and having plenty of money. I want them to turn their hearts to me, and this is an extreme measure I never wanted to allow to cause that to happen. This plague is only just beginning. It is going to burst forth and shock the world. People of the world, turn your hearts to me. Do not think you can continue to live strictly for yourselves and be safe from this plague. I'm calling all of you back to me, and what you are seeing is the result of your indifference in living a selfish lifestyle. Causing mass sickness and devastation notorious for plague is notorious for causing mass sickness and devastation but as much tragedy as the disease has caused it also helped drive crucial scientific and social progress plague is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium yersinia pestis it mainly affects rodents and spreads by way of insects. Because of these insects,
Governments are ramping up their moves to contain the coronavirus as it spreads globally. Japan is among those governments. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has called for all public schools to close from next Monday until the end of spring break in April. This as new infections of the virus outside China outnumber those in China. Let's take a look at a map that shows the severity of the situation in the affected nations. Now, the deeper blue uh, the country here, the When this plague is in full force, many will want to repent. But I say to you, repent now. Do not wait for your deathbed to confess and repent of your sins and your judgments against others. Do not wait for a child to become sick before you repent. Come to me now, and though your sins be as scarlet, I will make you whiter than snow. I will love and show mercy to you, just as you loved and showed mercy to your brother. Not with your actions, not with your words, but in your heart of hearts. That must be the place of mercy in you, not just what you think or speak with your lips. I bless you now, dear ones, and I ask you to examine your life and conscience. And if anything remains, come to me, repent, and I will forgive you and give you strength to love others as you love yourselves. Holy oh Lord, I know I've been guilty as well. If you want to know more about this virus, Look up the SoundCloud page from Mike from Around the World. Now, to know more about this virus, look up the SoundCloud harbor in America. I think that means Walmart shelves might start to look pretty and shipping containers from China. And this is why these ships are being blocked from coming into harbor in America. I think that means Walmart shelves might start to look pretty empty. Most of all, my loved ones, please pray for the Chinese who are being handled brutally by their government. Also proclaim Psalm 91 over yourself and your family every day and over the Chinese. larger the number of reported cases. And as you can see, China still has uh, the highest number of cases, more than 78,000. Altogether, 50 countries or territories have confirmed cases of the virus. The total stands at more than 82,000. Now, South Korea has again seen its biggest one-day jump in infections, and Saudi Arabia has stopped travel to religious pilgrimage sites due to fears over the virus. In Europe, Italy's outbreak has worsened, while Romania, Denmark, and Estonia are the latest... Please, they are suffering so much. And here is a true story about Psalm 91. In the Second World War, there was a regiment of 900 men, and the commander of the regiment countries to confirm cases, and Australia is taking emergency measures to stop the disease from spreading.